ladies and gentlemen, we're back. I come to you from a not at all depressing 24 seven service station in rainy Northern France. I've just had some lunch, which consisted of some very questionable rice salads. Although they did cut down on plastic waste by not including a fork, despite everything else being wrapped in plastic. I'm not angry, whatever, I've got a cookie. Anyway, um, this weekend, we're racing in Magnicourt, which is in the slap bang in the middle of France. I'm driving because that's just a lot easier and safer at the moment. And it's um, the first sprint race weekend of the GT World Challenge. So um, yeah, we've got to get there first though. The things that I do for the vlog, look at those crumbs, absolute chaos. Okay, made it to the track. That was quite an arduous journey in the end. Lots of crashes because it was torrential rain for half a bit. Um, so we're gonna go in, see what the team's up to. There we go. Oh, Down. 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 Okay. Now I have a nice present waiting for me. Quite a few. <laughs> Just in the garage. Um, I thought I'd quickly run through the format for this weekend because it's slightly different to the endurance format. Uh, so we get two practice sessions of about an hour, hour and a half each. And then we've got separately on Saturday and Sunday, one quali and one race for each Saturday and Sunday. Each driver does one qualifying. The race that they qualify for is the uh, the race that they will start. And then we swap at halfway and the races are an hour each. So we do half an hour of driving, more or less. And this weekend, one of them is in the night. I think it's the, uh, the Saturday race is a night race. No floodlights like we get in uh, Abu Dhabi or Bahrain. This is proper, proper night. So uh, it should be a lot of fun. I haven't actually got to race the car yet because in Monza, unfortunately, we had puncture before I got in the car. So when I get in for the race, that'll be my first laps in anger. So yeah, looking forward to it. You ready for some practice? Yeah, I think. We have to be uh, sub 10 seconds. The new record, huh? just doing some uh, driver swap practice now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film this, I'm going to be kind of busy. <laughs> Thank you for the camera, man. <laughs> Ricardo. He's got a future as a cameraman, I swear. Okay, I'm in the garage. We're here for uh, practice one. I know I'm really close to the camera and I'm probably speaking quite loud, but that's because I have no idea if you can hear me or not. So Const is in the car for the first half of the session and then I'm going in. <laughs> Looks like Const has had a little off. We think that they're going to be able to bring the car back to the garage. Fingers crossed. We don't know if there's a lot of damage to the car or if it was just a really light touch. So we'll see. It's just one of those things. It looks like the car is okay. I think it was quite a light touch on the barrier. Um, just maybe a bit of a flat spot on the tyres, so fingers crossed, we, we should get going again quite quickly. I'm alone in the truck, I can finally breathe air. So, practice is done. I got in a grand total of one timed lap. Basically, Consta had gone backwards through the gravel, so it's gone all through the diffuser and into the engine bay. So we literally, we got out with about less than 10 minutes to go. Consta did a couple of laps and then I did one lap because the problem is tonight will be a night session. 
it's going to be a lot harder to learn the circuit when it's dark. So yeah, we're on the back foot a bit, but could be worse. Okay, so it's now night time, as you can see, more or less. I'm going to start tonight's session. We're going to try and do as many laps as we can to make up for this morning. Uh, Constant's going to finish. Let's do this. some homework now, eh, Artin? <laughs> and here I thought I am dead. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You really can't see anything in the dark. It's so hard. Tell us what's happening. You're a super sub for today. Because you were just coming to watch us and support us, no? Uh, yeah, actually, I came like to, to watch, like a tourist, like a complete tourist. Uh, <laughs> and in the end, uh, they had a, a little crash yesterday on car 163. Then Noble Siddler is not feeling so good, so someone needs to, to run race him. And your first, uh, okay, you drove last year, but your first experience this weekend will be in the race, in the night. <laughs> yeah, we'll time, we'll time. <laughs> nah, you'll be fine. I believe, mate. I believe. Yeah, I believe wait, 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 wait. We're supporting Williams today, right, lads? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All the way. It's going to be nice we actually get to watch this before our own quality. Timetable today, concerts are in qualifying, and uh, then the race is at 10.30, and I'm doing the second stint, so I've got a bit of time to kill now. <laughs> Just going to do final bit of uh, driver swap practice, a briefing before we get going for tonight. Sun is starting to set. Uh, Cons is going to start the race. We are P21. Yeah, try and make up a few places. That's all we can do, really. Should be fun. Good luck, mate. Have a good start. My hero! <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, you know. Good job. Oh my. Well, that was fun. So, I got in um, just past halfway because there was a yellow flag, so it del delayed the pit stop a bit. And uh, I think we were around 16th when I got in, and we had a slow pit stop. But um, after that, it went really well. I was purple in sector one, I think, so really flying in the high speed stuff. Managed to to gain one or two positions and it's yeah it was great that was my first proper night race and my god it's hard i had some uh, funny moments anyway i'm gonna get changed because i'm sweating like crazy and um i'll speak to you guys in a little bit can you tell me a little bit about uh, your stint in the race and how it all went for you but it was a, a huge amount of fun the pace was quite okay i had some good battles and i gained uh, i think two or three positions so I, yeah i was happy i was enjoying it that might be a bit of a love tap to the McLaren. Maybe. I didn't break it, I promise. Okay, good morning. We're here for uh, day two, so I'm going to qualify the car in just under 15 minutes. And then I'm going to start the race as well. So we've got a few small changes for the car, so let's see how it goes. All right, that's quality done. Yeah, bit of a frustrating one. Uh, we ended up P9, so it's not the end of the world, but to be honest, I think we should be we should be in the top five. Anyway, we're gonna try and move forwards for the race. So now I'm gonna do debrief, a little bit of homework, and uh, try to chill out a little bit. 
with the, the brake balance and everything because okay. in the end when I'm getting it right it, it's better um, but if you're out of the window with the, with the balance then yeah you can have problems. All gone. So coffee and lunch has been consumed. We are starting P9 and in one hour. Feeling nervous. If in doubt, go flat out. Where is that? You know where Vandalinde is starting? Oh. <laughs> Careful what you say. Yeah. No, I'm not it's all I'm on film. <laughs> I need some tips for the, uh, the race start. When they uh, call the formation lap, I just start to uh, flat out in the last chicane. Yeah. And I pass as many guys as possible before the green flag or what? Yeah, before, the, before the green flag is the yeah. best idea, I think. And then uh, the first chicane I just cut, no? It's the first chicane I just uh, I cut the green. Oh, I, everybody's cutting anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, actually. So we just, yeah, we just, we just can go, go for it. Go for it. Time for the race. I'm uh, prepped, ready to go. Wish me luck. Woo. All right. Uh, sorry for the wind. Fresh out the car. Start was not great. Um, First rolling start, I just missed it a little bit, so we lost one or two positions. Um, but then I got them back. I did a couple of really nice overtakings at the hairpin. So yeah, I'm happy. I think we put, we started P9, I dropped to 11 or something, and I got all the way up to P8, so happy. So just after Consta got in the car, now it's a safety car. We are P13, so I think this lap they, uh, they restart. Let's see if we can watch. Come on, Consta, you can do it. Here we go. Just before I set off, I just want to show you this. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to because it's on my phone and it's very difficult to zoom on this. But so what this shows is basically how things stood at the end of the first stint for everybody. So that's me. We are p8 fell all the way to p12 and got back up to p8 so that was good and here you can see the fastest laps we were the fastest car by three tenths three tenths quicker than the leader and we were purple in every single sector i think it was pretty decent um can be happy with the pace just need to sort out the qualifying and start a bit higher up but you know first weekend we'll take that i've got a five hour drive to calais don't know how tired I'm going to be when I get there, so I may or may not um, do some extra vlogging. But um, yeah, that's that for the weekend. Take it. Calais up the Euro Tunnel. I came this close to getting on the train. There was one at 20 past 10. Um, it is now 27 past 10. I, I must have missed it by like five minutes because I, I was sat at the uh, gate for a good 10 minutes waiting, hoping it would let me go. And it didn't, which is unfortunate because the next one is at 20 to 2 in the morning. Luckily, the uh, the lovely staff felt so sorry for me that they came and collected me from the uh, the little queuing bit, um, and they've let me come back to the lounge um, by the the staff roads. I think I'm, I'm going to be home at like four in the morning now, so maybe a nap.
honest. Um, but I'm probably going to leave the vlog here, guys. Thanks for coming along for the first uh, sprint weekend. I know I went through it pretty quickly when I was in the uh, when I was leaving the circuit earlier, but actually thinking about it a bit more, I'm so pleased with how it went today. I mean, it's a pretty stacked grid. You've got factory drivers there from all of the major manufacturers, and uh, they are not messing around. Spa 24-hour winners and all of that kind of thing. So uh, to be quicker than those guys, it, it's. Uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I'm I'm really pleased. Just need to iron out a few little things, get used to the format, start the race a bit higher up, and have better rolling starts. Um, but the pace is, is really good, so I'm pretty pretty stoked on that. So um, stay safe. Not sure um, when the next one of these will be, but we'll have cool stuff in the in the pipeline. And as always, leave a comment if you've got any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, yeah, subscribe, obviously, if you haven't. <laughs> See you guys in the next one.